Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to work with loop nodes in Blender 3.1. Well, yeah, that's right. We don't have a loop node in 3.1. And as far as I know, we are not going to get one anytime soon. But I'm going to show you how to set up your node groups so that uh, it will resemble the loop node kind of type of workflow and uh, the way i use it it kind of works okay and uh, i believe uh, this video would kind of help you to get that mindset into these loop kind and loopy nodey kind of thing anyway let's uh, let's begin maybe some of you have seen uh, the thumbnail that i used for my array node video and i created it with the these looping nodes and i know it looks very bad but let me just connect these two so let's go into more detail about it and uh, okay so you can say well it's fine it's not that complicated this is i don't know an array a radial array and I can just move one, recreate the array, and then again, and again, and again, and again, and again, because actually we have something like that here. And this is how maybe some of you would approach this problem. So you have one box, one cube that you change its size here something like that and then you can use the bb array node group that you can download from the link in the description but that's not the point of this video you can put whatever node or whatever transformation you uh, want and so this one gets arrayed we moved it this one all they all get arrayed around this empty here uh, this is where you choose the empty on this node but as i said this is not the point and here and here you move, uh, you kind of decide on where to place it. And then you copy this setup down there. And then you change some of the parameters here. And uh, some of the count here because it's more of them. And, and I don't know. And maybe, and then you, you need to do that again here. And then you kind of connect these two here and then connect these two but as you can see we need to change here we need to change this and then we also need to change the angle like this and then we need to add more copies and and so on and so on and that, that is not a very good way to do this as you can see because uh, Every time you need to change uh, one, two, and three parameters. And so if you want to change, I don't know, maybe after you've done this 30 times, and then you decided that you, you wanted to change, I don't know, uh, the distance between these two. So the distance is changed with this angle. Okay. Okay, I want it much bigger like this then you need to change the count all right okay and then and then we need to do that for again and again here and that's obviously not the best way to do it right you've already kind of noticed but what you can do and what i did and i'm going to show you how is use these kind of group nodes so here i have uh, something that controls the size of my cube and as you can see, if I set it to 0 0.5, everything changes uh, accordingly. I don't need to change it. I don't know how, mu how much time, you know. So let's let's uh, put it back to three, for example. And uh, and if I want to change, for example, the distance between these cubes, I can change also this. So you can see now it's bigger, the distance, right? Even more, two. Okay, even bigger. And so how, how or, or you can even change this it, everything changes and uh, and, and that's uh, 
that's interesting, right? And so, how can you do this? I'm going to go into our group node and I'm going to show you. So we have that array option here. But what's the trick here? So the trick here is, let's just switch off this bend node that it's also a node that you can download from link in the description but that's also not the point of this video let's just mute it so you can see that all these are not bending anymore so some kind of transformation happens inside these nodes right and then this transformation ends here and this geometry gets joined with the joined geo geometry so let's go back here and what happens here so uh, my geometry goes in here and then it goes out here with join geometry but it also comes out here so what what's happening here actually so this geometry gets passed on all the way to here so my initial geometry which is the cube my one and only cube gets passed on and every single node group here inside this geometry groups is getting passed like this geometry so it's always that cube it's always that cube only that cube is always here and uh, but here we have that joint geometry which connects whatever transformation i did here to my cube because my cube goes on and gets transformed and whatever happens not it's not that important but then it gets joined with the join geo socket but what comes out of this join geo whatever comes in from this joint geometry so here we joined my cube my transformed cube my arrayed cube with the join geo so every so here my cube comes in it gets transformed arrayed and then it's uh, it gets passed on where it gets joined with another cube that gets transformed and so on and so on and so on and so on and uh, and the other things that change but also keep on living it's these so my size of the cube just gets passed on just gets passed on my distance between cubes just gets passed on and it's always my full circle which is another thing that's not important for our demonstration of loop nodes gets passed on the thing that gets passed on a bit different are these two things so my x component which is the one that uh, controls uh, what the uh, where my so you can see if, if i can put three here there's more distance between these cubes because this is what controls the distance of my cube from the center of the array the radial array but this also gets sent forward by every time adding value of two so when we first started my x was 5.3 let's put it to three for example now it's only three but here that value is no longer three but it's five because we added two in the in this group node we added two and then here we added two and passed it on we, we always add two and pass it on if we add three then we will be adding three every next loop get it so here it's six here it's still six because that's the one that passed on but here it's nine and here it's 12 and so on and so on and you can add as many as you want and and what's the cool thing about this it, okay you still need to copy it every time and it, it's a pain okay i admit it but look at this for example how difficult it is to 
copy all these here like this. And all you need to do now is connect these. So geometry with geometry, X with X. Join geometry, join geometry, and 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 that's it. And then you can okay, this went a bit far, and then you can connect it like this. And wait a second because it's kind of hard to process, but there you go. And still, you can change your size of the cube. To one again processing a bit and see what happens this is as close as we can get to having a loop setup in blender nodes geometry nodes for now so anyway guys thank you so much for watching please like this video if you did like it and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.